Hello my friend, my name is Amir, I'm talking with you from SC Center. Today I would like to talk about the ETR family from Elsner Electronic that is manufactured in Germany. Uh, the ETR is an economic type of keypad that is the touch type in a black and white color. It uh, was awarded uh, with the red light design in 2011 also for users it's so easy to use and for programmer it provides us the flexible programming now uh, we are going to uh, get more deep in this product uh, specifically we want to, to talk about ETL 101 and I would like you to enjoy it Please let me know if you have any question through the email. Thank you so much. So let's go to learn about Canix ETR101. So this is a new Canix thermostat from Elsner. It can uh, work to control heating and cooling. The surface material is based on the glass. Also you can use it as a flush mount or surface mount with the extra accessories. And it's winged the Red Dot Design Award. So it's, it's really great one. You can see the, all the ETR uh, family. So now we are going to talk about this thermostat. This is a simple one. This thermostat can be added with one control of the line motor. Also, it can be used without LCD, but also with the thermostat and in addition to control the blind and, and the lamp. And there is an ETR family only the, there is it's it's a push button oh, of course it's a, uh, the touch one but uh, not LCD on, on whatsoever you can see the red dot design award that is provided with this with this uh, with this one you can see it is really teeny tiny uh, thermostat so stylish in two color white and black so you can choose it between white and black here. About the function, it is going to measure the temperature and then control the room heating and cooling applications like the floor heating, radiator, uh, fan coil, electrical heating and so on. There's two touch button on it so you can uh, increase or decrease the set point value. Also it shows you the current temperature of the room and the set point temperature. It is equipped with proportional integral controller to control uh, the system and make the control variable for actuators. Also it is configured in ETS of course. In the technical data you can see the surface is glass and the back is in plastic. The environmental IP is 20 so you can only use it in as indoor devices. The mounting is really simple. You can use the uh, regular European standard for it. It is so uh, with, a, with a low weight, 65 gram only. So you can uh, use it in, a, in an environment between minus 25 to uh, plus 80 with maximum 95 uh, percentage of humidity. So it is quite durable one. Uh, to uh, to the connection to the bus, it can uh, use the between 10 milliamp to 18 milliamp. It depends on LED brightness. So when you want to choose the power supply unit for your line in Kenix, you should consider it. So as a as a maximum 18 million milliamps to to select the right power supply unit. It only 
connect to the plus and minus the the, the red and uh, black wire of Kinex, so there is no need to extra uh, connection, and it can detect the minus twenty five to eighty uh, centigrade as a temperature sensor. So in the download page, you can download the manual, the data sheet, and so on. There's a, there's a nice manual, very complete one. It provides you all information. Also in in a in a data sheet, you can see all the information. You you should know it about the installation one, dimension wiring, and so on. Okay, let's go to the um, ETS. In ETS in parameter, uh, first page of Canis ETR is general setting. In general setting, you can uh, uh, assign about the traffic of the data, so how frequently you want to send the telegram. I leave it as a, as a default one. Also, you can make uh, make a decision about the LED brightness. So when you increase the LED brightness. Of course, you use more power, but maybe you need it in some rooms with so much light. Uh, and also, you can uh, control the LED brightness with the extra object. That is awesome, in my opinion. And also, you can uh, tell the device to uh, to turn off in automatic operation when you when you do not use it. In temperature measurement. There are so many useful parameters that lead us to have some nice group objectives, some po some powerful group objectives, to uh, uh, to have a have a have a better control of our devices. First of all, if we put the use malfunction object on yes, so we have some group object to to tell us if there is some error in thermostat. So. If we calibrate the sensor of the temperature sensor after installation and we want to have some offset, we can yeah, add it here manually. Also, if we want to use the average between the temperature in the in this thermostat and the external temperature that we use it in a room, maybe we have a big room, big open office, so we can put it on yes, the use external measured value and make the average between those. The default is between 50 and 50 percent, but maybe you you want to con concentrate, uh, put your pressure on an a, a external temperature, make it more important, or the temperature of the uh, inside of the Canix ETR. In addition, uh, we can we can tell the transmission behavior. For example, if we put it on change and periodically transmission behavior of the temperature uh, that is read by the this thermostat, so we can say if if we have any change of more than uh, half a degree, so you change change uh, send the uh, temperature again, okay? So or or send it cyclically ten second or more, but be be careful about uh, these um, sending cyclically because it may increase the uh, traffic of the data. Then we have the. Uh, we, it is possible for us to have the minimum maximum value of the temperature. So in temperature PI control, so this is a closed loop control. So in, in, in Canix HVAC book, you can see the uh, closed loop controller. The thermostat, it includes the common device. So we can uh, import, in, uh, enter the set point that we need in a, in, in a room. There is a temperature sensor inside of it, so it can detect the temperature of the room. So we, it compares between set point and, and the read temperature, make the control error or control differences. So this control difference is going to the controller, and the controller, in our case, is a proportional integral controller. Uh, it can receive the control difference or control error and make the control variable or control value. And the output of it is going to the Canix uh, actuators. Okay, so here, first of all, we should make the uh, closed loop controller on. In a closed loop controller, we leave it the maintain the Dirchot value as a after power supply restoration. 
So here, the next one is switch mode between two 8-bit object HVAC mode or three one-bit objects. So what is this? It's we can decide how we want to call the special mode in terms state. Okay, so we leave it in HVAC mode. Uh, if if you want to figure it out, what is it? You can go to group objectors here. Okay, so this is HVAC mode from right side in the ETS. So you can come down for this this one byte value, and you see when you when you move your mouse here, HVAC mode. So we have auto comfort, standby, economy, and building protection by using this group object, one byte group object with this data point type. Anyway, we, we leave it in, in, in 8 bit one. So mode after the reset, I put it in comfort. You can do it whatever you want. So now behavior of the blocking of the object with value. So you can turn on or turn off completely the thermostat, okay? So now with these group objects, you it is a, you are able to configure this thermostat with most of the brands in Kenix, okay? Because some of them maybe, for example, in Schneider, you receive zero to uh, to make make your thermostat on, and you receive one to make your thermostat off, okay? So, but in some some brands you make it on with one and make it off with zero. So you can use these these objects for that one. Anyway, uh, and then also there is possibility here uh, uh, to to tell the system how frequently you send the uh, actuating variable or control variable. Okay. So if there is two percent change or more or or less, huh? it is it is possible. Of course, this is in absolute one. And then uh, send it unchanged or cyclically or periodically or what was whatsoever. The important uh, control, the important parameter here is type of control. Are you going to control one stage heating like floor heating, or one stage heating and one stage cooling like the fan coil units? Or the, for example, two stage heating, one stage cooling, for example, some additional heat and cool to what's, what you have regular in your room. So if you, for example, put it in one stage heating, one stage cooling, then you can see how you are going to control. First of all, there's a, there is an option to tell the system how to behavior to change between the season for heat and cooling. There is opportunity to configure this product with most of the brand mechanics because it makes you flexible here. It is nice. Also, you are going to uh, import an, uh, import the key product for the comfort, standby, protection, echo, and, prote uh, and and other type of the special mode. So, for example, here you tell the system in comfort mode for heating. Uh, the the temperature is 21 degree. It is based on ASHRAE uh, standard. Okay, and and how you can uh, change the setting of the set point between 16, for example, to 28, and whatsoever. So this is so much flexible for you to make your decision here. And then, of course, for heating and and, and cooling variable, it asks you uh, how you behavior for it. So here, in, in, in heat regulation level, you're going to tell the system, are you going to import the uh, PI or proportional integral controller coefficient by yourself or, or, ask, uh, or use the predefined uh, PI coefficient? So now I'm going to put it in, for example, fan convector huh? to, to use it as a, as a fan coil controller. This, this coefficient helps us to approach the set point mm, much easily and in a better way. I mean, our output should be the near the set point in, 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 in a short time. Huh? Okay, so we use it to uh, as, as a heating regulation and for cooling one. Okay, so you see the parameter of this system, of this product is so easy to do. Huh? This is so easy. Also, in some some uh, special things that is are important for us to configure with other brands like Anaf or change the mood of heating and cooling 
or whatsoever, there is a possibility to, to be flexible and make the system run with other brands. So there are all the benefits of these products. I hope you enjoy it and see you in next session. Thank you so much.